our interns for today. Check this out. We have three interns that are on our show. Uh, we have Freaky Jeff is here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Freaky Jeff is here. Okay. Why is Freaky Jeff wearing a tie today? Yeah, why are you wearing a tie and a... a you look like an usher at a movie theater with that vest on. Well, the thing is... Am uh, I in this seat over here? Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Founder said we're going to take pictures today, and I just wanted to look good. It's not like Aww. high school where you got to dress up yeah, or don't something. Don't ever wear that again. <laughs> okay, uh, Big Bubba B is in here. What's up, Big Bubba? Hey, oh. And uh, he woke up late today, so he's just getting here. And Coco Chanel is in here. Good morning, Coco Chanel. Good morning. All right, so what we're going to do right now is a game that we like to call... Are you smarter than an intern? Than an intern. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Intern. Now all of our interns, they go to uh, college or have gone to college. What's what schools are we representing this morning? Freaky Jeff Grand Valley. Big Bubba B Grand Valley. Coco Aquinas. Okay. All right. And uh, on the line with us this morning, we have our good friend Sherry from Cutlerville. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Okay. So, um, have you watched Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader before? Um, yes, I have. Okay, so this is Are You Smarter Than an Intern? Flounder versus the interns. Now, what we're going to give you the chance to do right now is pick a team. Which team would you like to get on? Would you like to be on Team Interns or Team Flounder? Um, I think I'd like to go with Team Flounder. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. Wow. Impressed. Okay, here's what's going to happen. Uh, April is going to ask questions of the two of them. The interns are going to get together and come up with an answer, and then Flounder is going to come up with his answer, and then whoever gets it right is going to score the point. We'll do best of five, and whoever has the most will win the contest. If Flounder wins, then you'll win fantastic prizes today. April, what do we have for her? We've got for you a family four-pack of tickets to the Michigan Renaissance Festival, so you can take the whole family for their fun-filled themed weekends. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Well, let's do it. Here we go. It's time for Are You Smarter Than an Intern? Our okay, we've got... Our first questions. Go ahead, April. We've got these questions directly off the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Test. We have five questions for you today. The supreme law of the land is called the Constitution, but what do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? Okay. The supreme law of the, of the land is called the Constitution, but what do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? All right. Uh, wow. Uh, okay, interns, you guys over there, you get together and you come up with your answer. Flounder, do you think you have your answer yet? Oh, the interns already have their answer. Um, <laughs> I got to guess. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the interns. What is your answer? What is the Bill of Rights? Flounder, what is your answer? Declaration of Independence. Okay. <laughs> Sherry, are you okay there? I think I want to go with our intern. Uh, you're, you're more than welcome before we get another answer here. Uh, okay, Sherry is now on the interns team. We'll let her make the switch over. Good choice. It's a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> good choice. Okay, April Rose, what is the answer? The answer is the Bill of Rights. It is the Bill of Rights. <laughs> All right, one question I didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Just jumping ship on me. Interns, I don't mean to be a turncoat. <laughs> right, interns one, flounder, nothing. Okay, uh, April Rose, our next question. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Again, what are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Okay, our interns have their answer. Flounder has his answer. Let's start with flounder this time. House and the Senate. Okay, interns, what do you think the answer is? Senate and the House. April Rose, what is the right answer? They're both correct. The House and the Woo! Senate. All right. So we chug it, chug it, choo, choo. Okay. But what that means is that the interns have two and Flounder has one. It's okay. Okay. Interns two, Flounder one. Uh, April Rose, our next question. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Okay. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Uh, let's start with the interns. Okay. Interns. That'd be Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Flounder. John Hancock. <laughs> Sherry, are you okay right there? I'm okay. Uh, April Rose, what is the answer? The interns are right. Thomas Jefferson. Yay, so whoa, 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 whoa. Flounder. <laughs> Sorry. But they always say, you know, you sign your John Hancock here because he's the one that wrote on the Declaration oh of Independence. Gosh. Really? That's really? He, just, he, he signed it large so everyone <laughs> in England could see. <laughs> um, okay, so that means interns won. Flounder, nothing. And that means that the interns win because they've got three to one and there's no way Flounder can come back. So that means the interns win. Yay. Yay. Flounder, you look bummed out, man. I just, yeah, I don't know. Uh, believe it or not, this is a recent survey. Uh, only one in four public high school students can name the first president of the United States. That, according to a survey released just this Wednesday, the survey commissioned by the Oklahoma Council of Public Affairs in observance of Constitution Day today. But you know what? 
we obviously have smart interns that work here, so I'm pretty impressed. All right, so congratulations, guys. Thank you. Um, which one of them gets Flounder's job now? Coco. <laughs> I think they often. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Wow.